listening to Dead Talk on the Foul Mouth Network. And here's your host, Mike Bobbitt, Foul Mouth Ken, and the Filthy Mouth Gamer. Dead Talk, Episode 2. Hey, what is up, everybody? We just got done with one hell of an episode, action-packed again as usual. What's up? I got Filthy Mouth Gamer in the house and Mike Bobbitt. What's going on, fellas? Not much, man. You? Nah, man. Just enjoyed the episode. Uh, a lot went down in this episode, and at the end there, it was kind of crazy. Uh, Filthy, what'd you think about that ending? I was glad to hear him shut the fuck up for once with a couple of 50 cal rounds at his towards his fucking way. Jesus <laughs> Christ. The guy, the guy acts like he's playing Dungeons and Dragons the whole fucking time. Like, I know he does. The fuck down already. He Christ. does, man. He does. Dude, You're you right. know what? You know what? You know, this fucking the writers of the show really insult my intelligence because you're now you're scavenging for guns. You're scavenging for food. You're scavenging for everything. And all of a sudden, Rick's taking fucking Polaroid pictures. What the <laughs> fuck is going on, dude? I know. It's why fucked. is he, he taking? Is, 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 is he documenting? Is he documenting all this? Is that like what's going on? Uh, but it's like, where, where did you find a fucking Polaroid camera, dude? If I tried to find a Polaroid camera right now, I couldn't find a Polaroid camera. Like, what? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> 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 they don't make those shits anymore, do they? I don't think so. Actually, they still do believe it or not. Do they? Yeah. I, I mean... You know what? You it, are right, Bob, because um, I remember like about four or five years ago, somebody I know ordered one of them online, and they do make them. I I, I know as of four or five years ago, they, they did. So, I mean, I'm sure you could find one. Yeah, it shouldn't be too hard. You know, and uh, you know, well, we'll we'll cover the episode. I don't want to fucking start tearing it apart and every piece, but it was a decent episode. There was a couple of holy shit moments. Yeah, there was you know like I mean? at the end there. Mm -hmm. That was a holy shit moment. I like how everybody jumped on top of him to like, uh, you know, shield him from the bullets, which they did, which it looks like they did. I'm still waiting for his um, his uh, pet to be killed. Right. You know that hasn't happened yet, but I I know it does happen. You know what I mean? This giant pussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah What's going to happen is the uh, tiger's going to eat that, that uh, gay zombie, and, and, the, and, the, and the tiger's going to turn gay. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's some uh, that's some uh, Game of Thrones shit right there. Um, well, I mean, a lot of other st shit happened in this uh, in this episode. Like, for instance, the when Maggie let in that scumbag at the end there too. Let him in, and then five minutes later, he's saying, "You shouldn't let these people in." <laughs> he's like already bossing people around. Yeah, he's like, "You should have some compassion in your heart. Have some, have some humanity." Five minutes later, don't let these people in. Hey, um, besides this show, where do you recognize that actor from? Do you remember? I knew he looked familiar. He plays John Connor's stepfather in Terminator 2, the one who gets stabbed through his fucking face when he's drinking milk. Really? Oh my god, that's him? Yeah. Holy wow. shit. Remember remember the the T one thousand turned into his stepmother? Yeah. And she was on the yeah. and it was on the phone fucking using her voice and shit. <laughs> yeah. And then she fucking stabs the fucking stepfather through the face. Jesus. With a, man. With a fuck, that's the guy. That's the, that's same the guy. Fucking actor. Oh. Yeah. Oh my god. Maybe it should happen again to him, fucking stupid. Yeah, what the hell and what the hell's up with Morgan? He was a he was a Terminator last episode. This episode he was a bitch. Yeah, like what's going on with him? Now he's fighting like his own people and He's he snapped, bro. He's totally snapped. Yeah, I think he's I, but I wanted it you know what? I wanted to beat Jesus because Jesus is like, dude, what what are, you, what are you doing, bro? Like you guys don't even have enough food for yourselves and now you're gonna throw fucking people in in a container. And all, and all yeah. that he kept saying. Oh, after after this is over, after this is over, there is no pace after this. No, there's not. The, the next people roll on in. Haven't they? Haven't they learned from their their lessons already? Like the next two, the next set of people roll in to fuck with you. You know what I mean? So it's like it's an ongoing thing. It'll never end. You know? Yeah. So it's like 
wife, you know, like as bad as as bad as it is, and the guy's name is Jesus. I know you don't want to kill these people, but honestly, that's like the only choice that they have right now is to kill these people. I'm sorry right. to say, you know. And they were about to bail out and fucking go get help to get you killed. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're running away. Yeah. And that was the other. That's the other thing. That part right there. Before that shit went down, they're walking down the in in fucking the wide open fucking air, down the fucking road. It's like, dude, you're in the wide open spot. Yeah. This is like the worst place to be. What do you do? Have you learned not a fucking thing? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Ridiculous. I said it to myself. I'm like, they're in a wide open spot. This is dumb. And all of a sudden, you got zombies rolling down a fucking hill. Yeah. Yeah. That was weird. Yeah, you're right about that. They never, that's, see, this is the type of shit that aggravates me. They just don't learn from their mistakes. You don't stay out in the fucking open, especially when you got the saviors hunting you, and there's a shit ton of them. Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to go right down the middle of the fucking street. Why not? Sounds <laughs> like a great fucking idea. Great fucking plan. Yeah. Wonderful. How about we just walk right down the middle of the street? What do you say? Think that'll work? Uh, how's that? <laughs> yeah, that's a great plan. It's a well thought out plan you got there, buddy. And break. <laughs> <laughs> and go <laughs> fucking idiots man you're all right about that though it's like sometimes you're just like what the fuck are these people thinking man like something that simple like you can't like is it fucking that hard to figure out like if you make that if you make that mistake in season two we can have a discussion but when yeah. you make that mistake in season eight yeah I yeah mean, you fucking kick me a lot uh six three one what's up Yo, what up, Kenneth Christian? What's up, man? So what'd you think about tonight? I think it was a good episode, but, like, a lot of things pissed me off. Nice. Yeah, I hear you. Like, we, we just got official confirmation that Morales died. By the way, I, I but I laughed at it because it was just the cold-blooded, like, <sighs> Daryl just came in and was like, eh, fuck him. I know. Yeah, no, right? Why the fuck would they bring, everyone was so excited that they brought him back and then they killed him. Like, what was up with that? Me? What was up with that? Why did they do that? Why did they do that? It was, it was like, a, it was only for like a little yippee for the actor. Yeah, I and guess. To, to keep all the fans shut up, to shut up about, oh, where is he? Where is he? Where yeah, is he? so let's just bring him back and fucking murder him. That yeah, day, what? you know? Well, <laughs> I know. Fucking like, funny. Jesus, one of my favorite characters, mm. but he pissed me off in this episode. Just fucking kill him. Yeah, I know. I know, I man. The actor like, feels. The actor people. had to sit, sit in the fucking heat in Arizona, whatever the fuck they're filming in Georgia, for fucking God knows how long for a few lines. Now go home. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, exactly. I know, right? like, like a what the hell. Yeah. I know. What was that all about, too? It's just, you know, I don't know, man. Uh, you know, I love this show, but, like, certain things, you know, like you said, you open up the episode with, you know, questioning questioning that whole thing. Like, you know, and it's like you do look at those little things in the episode. Like, little things piss you off in this episode, you know? I mean, in this series, yeah, really. It is so intelligence. Like, yeah. why, the right. hell is he take, why the hell is he taking pictures? Why is Morales <laughs> dead? What? what? Yeah, it's like it. it's like I'm watching this Memento. <laughs> this is what gets me. This whole all-out story arc that we're currently in is supposed to be about Rick and Negan. Yeah. Where the fuck has Negan been this whole time? Yeah, thank you. And, and they don't even show Negan or what's what's happening with Negan. Yeah, Negan Gable. hasn't even been in there. And how many? Like, what is this? The second episode or third episode? It's the third. It's the first episode. We it's, still can't. Uh, we still can't find Dwight, Michonne, Carl. Where the hell is that? I know. Right. I don't fucking yeah, know, man. Michonne. Like this is that's what aggravates me, bro. Like it's they didn't. Now it's two episodes. I haven't seen Call or Michonne. You know what I mean? Michonne like got, yeah. Michonne got a black eye, and then she's told to stay home and rest. Well, Rick gets shot, and he goes, still goes to war. What? Stay home and rest. <laughs> For your Rosita black guy. Rosita got shot. Rosita I know. Got yeah. Shot in the you, you got a and black guy. Just. Stay home. Stay, stay in Alexandria. Yeah. And Rick gets shot three times in the fucking leg. Yeah. And he's still shooting up. The but Rick, you gotta leg. come. You got shot in the leg. She's got a black eye. You gotta come, Rick. Rosita's got a fucking <laughs> spicy jalapeno fucking lodged in her. Yeah. Down a fucking She's project. got a, a got frozen jalapeno lodged in her up a esophagus. <laughs> She's gotta stay. Jalapeno. She's gotta stay, and you gotta go, Rick. Sorry. Rick's like, Sorry. Are you happy? Carl! Are you guys happy that, uh... Carl! Because I'm pretty happy, because I didn't like... I, I just didn't like him. I think it was his nose. 
Who? He's gay. But... Oh, the oh, guy. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. But I, right, I man. really didn't care. Like, can I say something? Like, I didn't even care. I was like, die. He's a, he's a D minus character. Either. Yeah. Like, am I supposed to feel bad? I don't give a fuck. Like, I really just like, I was like, all right. Yeah, I like Aaron. Fuck? I like Aaron though. He's he's cool, but like, I don't give a shit. But but now he's getting to be a whiny cunt. Like you yeah. know, like all right. And, so now you're not take gonna, so now you're not gonna get your dick sucked anymore. So what do you want me to tell you? <laughs> this don't make sense. A gay guy takes a a a, a, a girl baby. Well, that's listen. I have no problem with that. Yeah. Who knows? That's normal. Like they have that on uh, Modern Family. Yo, since yeah. when did did so many people turn into savages on this show, man? Holy fuck, dude! Not for nothing, but like. Well, that's the thing is they're fucking turning into just cold blooded animals, and that was actually good. The whole the whole banter back and forth, Morales and Rick, and Morales is like, listen, we're the same fucking people. You're acting like I'm the yeah. bad guy. Yeah. I'm just the one holding the gun. You know what I mean? Yeah, no. that's just true. Well, know who I like now? Fuck. Like, know who's actually kind of right now? I always hated her, but now I really like her. Tara. Yeah, Can she's not, she's not bad. You're right. Even even though she's fat as Tiffany. Uh, oh, well, no, Tiffany's worse, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow! Holy wow. Jesus! Christ. Shots fired! My Shots God fired! In what the fuck? <laughs> Right. Um, um, so way hotter than hot, dude. Are you fucking. Yeah, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a question for this. How many minutes? Not even, not even an hour. Not even a day. Not even a year. How many minutes do you think Tiffany was surviving the fucking all-out war? Oh man, I'm not answering that. Well, I'm gonna yeah, tell you. She was able to get a pussy eaten for at least three, four, five fucking years. We already know that. If I could just get these zombies just to eat pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! No, no, no! She would want to kill herself. Oh, she stop the pain. Oh my God! Let him open, and then take the zombie and shove it right in. Jesus Christ, man, you're brutal. Uh, you want to say anything else about the episode before I let you go? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I just want to, I just want to say one thing. Uh, next episode. Yeah. Uh, I think. The tiger will finally go because they showed walkers in the river and like there's a river and then the tiger's there and that's how it died in the comics. I think. Oh really? And uh, yeah, and then um, I don't know if you guys saw, but uh, last episode it was the zombie that uh, Jerry took out yeah. with the axe that really fucking blew a zombie with a blue fucking, shirt on. That fucking battle axe. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, over one of its eyes, it had stitching and stuff, so it was kind of like a like a nod to the whispers, like a, mm. to show that they're coming soon. Yeah. Oh, so you, but, so you, do you think that maybe that was a real person that he just fucking hacked? No, no, I don't think it's a real person, but I think it might be a dead person that was one of them. Oh, or, that was one. Or it was just like a nod to it or something, like to get you us ready for you it. You might be right there, man. Like that, like I didn't think about it uh, that way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You never know. You are. You could have a good theory there. You're right. Because, because after this, after all that was done, they they have like, it's called like a new beginning, and that's barely anything. It's barely short, and then you go right into the whisper stuff. Oh, you could and be right, man. Huge, yeah, there's a huge time skip. That's why we were seeing like the flash forwards with the brick as an old man. Yeah. And stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, cool. Anyway, uh, all right, anyway, you're now, you're now I'm now gonna call you shots fired, Christian. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hey, all right Christian, like shots fired, right, Christian. Thank you for calling you know. in, brother. Thanks, for, hey, filthy. Yeah. Go fucking fuck Tiffany, you cunt. Oh my god, this fucking guy, man. <laughs> Eight one seven. What's up? You're on the Foul Mouths Network. Hey, Ken, it's John. What's up? What's up, man? How you doing, buddy? So what'd you I'm think? Doing all right. What'd you think about tonight? Oh, intense, breathtaking, always an action-packed episode. I mean, it was action-packed again, man. They keep coming out with these, like, just, you know, gun-fucking-blaring episodes this year. You know, there's at yeah. least two good, hey, really... I, just have one, I, I, have, I have one thing to say. Go ahead. Fuck, fuck Jesus. Fuck him to death. You don't I like so you don't like him? And now you're going to hell now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you don't you don't like him? I mean, for the, 
And for the love of God, you're in a fucking war. You're you're right. in a war with the between the saviors and the hilltop and the fucking kingdom and you got one of the saviors who killed one of your own fucking kind and you can you told him, Oh, you gotta let us stay safe. They're not they're not our enemy. We'll just have him to go to peace. Like I'm like, fuck you. Yeah. No, I, I, I hear you. Yeah. I, hear I agree you. Ted, like, yeah. I, I got we'll fucking see. pissed off. No, you're right. I think you're right, man, because it's like can you guys hear me good? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. I, I think it's I think it's like you know it's it's wartime. I mean, this guy's name is Jesus. He's not obviously he's not Jesus, but they're hinting towards him being a Jesus type figure, which is just yeah weird. Um, mm -hmm. And I guess he thinks he's Jesus because you know he's morally, and you know the way he fought. What's his name tonight too, man? Was just like that dude's Morgan. got some yeah he's got some mysterious shit about him. Definitely, there's no doubt about it. Um, but he's not no. Jesus, obviously. But he's going around on this high horse like those people can be trusted. Those people can never be trusted again. You can't bring them into your camp and fucking lock them up in a fucking crate and think that things will die down and you could put them in, you know, your camp afterwards and let them become part of that, like, society. Fucking, like, come on. Right? Like, you know? it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it is pretty dumb. <laughs> like, 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 the, yeah. uh, like, it fucking... It, it, it fucking ri oh. Go ahead, man. Oh, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> 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 Dude, let me tell you something. Sometimes it's just hard not to talk over each other. But no, it's it funny. happens. It it's happens. funny when yeah. people keep going back and forth, yeah. and they stop, and the other person. How many? Hey, man. Hey, <laughs> how about? No, but go ahead. Go ahead. What I'm were you going to say? I'm, I'm just trying. To, I'm just trying to say. <laughs> go ahead, say it. I'm just trying to say, if fucking Rick or Maggie were around with fucking Jesus right now, he told them, kill them all, kill them all. Like, right. Sake. Well, and another fucking thing, Morales or mm. waste, right? <laughs> Seriously, yeah, that was pretty stupid. That Guys, was back. Really, that was a waste of a, of a time for that character. I mean, yeah, it Morales really was. Got, got back, but you know, that was horrible. <laughs> he got like fucking forty-five minutes. You they know, pulled was... him out of his fucking short out of cook job at El Torito just to do fucking three lines. Yeah, <laughs> unbelievable. Welcome, <laughs> Nimos. Um, <laughs> Morgan, you know, and you know, as for Morgan, he's probably going to be going to to the kingdom's army and have him have him save a save Carol, probably. Yeah, yo, and, what uh, happened to the priest? Is he dead? No, he's with Negan. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's in that he's in that trailer, trailer, right? He's in that trailer. Oh, yeah. yeah, I forgot mm -hmm. about that. I forgot about that. What do you think is going to happen with that? That's got to be I'm pretty. Sure. You know, what the fuck's going to happen with that? I he's love gonna it. No. He's going to lead them to, he's going to lead Negan or whoever to the fucking Rick is what's going to happen. So. Yeah, you think so? I mean, why bother? Why have him even with Negan? Yeah. If it's not going to be that. That's going to be crazy, man, when that finally goes and, down, and you for, know? As for Ezekiel and Carol, they're doing their relationship with each other just like they did in the comics with um, yeah. um, Michonne and... Uh, Ezekiel. I want some Tzatziki sauce. Doing the same thing with the Carol. Get your ass <laughs> some Tzatziki sauce. I want some Tzatziki sauce, baby. <laughs> tzatziki. <laughs> would you uh, give Carol the high hard one? I give it a hard low one. I think I would grab her by her fucking gray hair and fucking yeah. eat her to death. Yeah. I, since another thing is like everybody has perfectly trimmed beards and hair and fucking like there's a barber shop that's open. I know. Hours Welcome to the Walking Dead barber shop. Come on in and get a haircut. <laughs> well, we she keep the zombies out. Picture on a fucking nail salon's fucking front door. They're like, like what? they're like, Dude. we'll keep the zombies out and you'll get your haircut. Right. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> Come on down to the, to the Dead Talk Barber Shop. Yeah, get your hair cut where we kill fucking zombies outside. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, man, you got anything else you want to say before we let you go? About the episode or no? Oh, um, I'm just excited for next week's episode, and um, hopefully Carol does not die. Because you saw in the preview, she's going to get ambushed. She's going to get ambushed by the saviors, and that's probably our opinion oh, that no. is going to come in and save him. Yeah. Did you dry heave Saber. when the two dudes made out? Ugh. Cause, I, cause, cause, <laughs> I, I did, dude. Let, let me tell you something. And I'm not homophobic by any stretch, but for some reason, when, it, when dudes like make out with other dudes, oh, boy, I can't handle it, dude. I get fucking all queasy. I, I was just waiting for the cock to go to the, to go in the, in the gun hole. 
<laughs> you know, I get it. I get. It. I don't. Um, I don't like. It doesn't make me want to gag or anything, but I do make a cringe face a little bit. Right. It's it, it makes you like uncomfortable. But it's because you don't really see it all the time, and it's like not. We you know it's something we're not used to. You know what I mean? Like unless you have somebody in your family or you know. Well, it's like, listen, if you're a gay guy and you see a chick's pussy, you're going to fucking gag. So it's like, what the fuck? I like gay people, man. But, th like, gay men can be some of the smartest motherfuckers in the world because they got that feminine and side to them. And Oh, yeah, that too. And let and me tell you of, something. And, you know, speaking, of, speaking of gay people, I mean, I got, I got a little heartbroken with Eric, that character. Yeah, that I, did suck, man. And oh my let me God. tell you something. Somebody who's married almost That's 15 years. Apologies. Somebody who's married almost 15 years. You often think about being gay when you're married that long, okay? You think how it would have been. How it would have been if you said, hey, I love my best friend now, and you're chilling with him. Like, I mean, we'd be playing Xbox all night, fucking having a great time. But no. No, I'm chasing the pussy around. And, you know, every once in a while, you take a fucking 15-minute break to suck each other's dicks, and you go right back. Well, that part, no. I I'd, I'd totally have to be like, you know, sorry, that part don't work for me. Uh, John, I'll let you go, man. Thanks for calling in, brother. <laughs> what a conversation to have. All right, John, I'll talk to you soon, man. All right, see All right, you man. Wednesday. All right, see you Wednesday. Later, man. Uh, we got uh, 618. What's up? Not much. It's Marvin. What's up, Marvin? How you doing, man? Not much. I'm kind of thinking Daryl slowly turning into Merle. Yeah, what is going on with Daryl, man? Daryl is like... He's just a stone cold fucking killer now, man. Well, remember, he was a prisoner. He don't give a fuck, Daryl. Now, dude. But they fucked with him, dude. Remember, they made him, sat him down, and they put him in that dark room, and they played that fucking song over and over. Yeah, and dude. Over yeah, they did fuck Daryl up a little bit. You're right. They fucked him up, dude. They You're fucked right. his head up. You know what? I never got the original uh, photo to The Walking Dead, the first season, how it showed the highway leading into the city and leading out of the city, right? Right. And it shows all the cars built up on the one side of the highway and the other side of the highway with nothing on it. Don't you think some of those people would have said to themselves, you know what, nobody's coming into the city. I think I'm going to get on the opposite side of the highway and drive. And drive. <laughs> but no, there's a whole open fucking half and it pisses me to fuck off that there's an opening half of a highway just sitting there. Yeah, because people are like, I got to still follow the rules. Yeah, I got to still follow the rules. Oh. <laughs> you know, like, holy fucking just... <laughs> Uh, anyway, sorry. Um... <laughs> oh, shit. We just got a donation. <laughs> Where are those? There we go. Mr. Cal Alabama. Mr. Cal -El. What's up, guys? About halfway watching now. That look Rick gave Daryl. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah, Mr. Mm -hmm. Mr. Cal Alabama. Shout out to you. Thank you, man. You're right, man. That look that Rick gave Daryl was like, am I going to have to kill you? Am I going to have to kill you, Daryl? Me and Carl, one day, we're going to have to kill you one day, me and Carl. He gave him that look like, you might be coming a cold-blooded murderer like me. I might have to kill you before you kill me. You could really look into that look. You could really make a, a real strong fucking case for, uh, you know, that look was kind of like, uh, Rick gave him a look like, you know, I might have to put you in check. I know, right? That's what I got from it. What did you guys get from that look? Dude, I got, I got like, a Rick, Rick was like, oh, shit, what happened to you, Daryl? I haven't seen <laughs> Right? Filthy, what, what about you? What did you think of that? Well, it, well, yeah, well, Rick was trying to fucking, he thought he was getting to Morales. He thought he was getting to, you know, his sensibilities. And the next thing you know, he's got a fucking bolt in his fucking head. So, you know, so. Cola, what do like, you think? What do you think of that whole scenario? Oh, that Rick and Daryl thing? Yeah, yeah you think, think that they, that eventually Rick. they'll come to a head, those two? Yeah, Norman was hitting on that on the Talking Dead show. Oh, that's he not going to be... on it right now. He was hitting that. Now, that, that would be a big-time war right now of those fucking two guys going at it because those are guys are like brothers, man, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm kind of glad that Morales is dead, though, because I thought the governor, when killed and raped and killed... His family in front of him. I thought yeah. that was the guy they're talking back about back then. But uh -oh. that in the second season, or I think with Shane, with that kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yep. I was thinking that was him that they raped. 
Oh, okay, and okay. Killed his wife and kid. Yeah. Actually, I thought he. What happened to him? So. Yeah, a little, was, bit little yeah. happy ending. <laughs> that was very weird that they brought him back in just for that small fucking part, you know. <laughs> I mean, it was. Uh, the writers of the show are very bizarre, dude. They are, They're dude. Very... They are. But I have noticed, like, what the writer said the, at the beginning of last season. He was like, "Notice the mo- notice the walkers over the next couple of seasons look older, and they have looked o- a lot older. A lot of the walkers, they, they do. You know, they can't move around as good as they used to. Some of them, like." And you could tell that they're actually aging throughout episodes and, and you know, like, seasons, you know? Mm-hmm. That's pretty well, cool, too. Well, at this too. point, if there's walkers from the very first beginning of the disease, of the spreading of the disease, yeah. they should be totally decomposed. Yeah, point. like walking bones. Yeah. How come we haven't seen a set of walking bones yet? How come we haven't seen, <laughs> like, crows, like, attacking them and picking on their fucking... St- you know their flesh and shit. You know what I mean. You're right about that. Like, but maybe like because and shit. maybe because they're animated. I don't know. Maybe because they're walking. You know what I mean. Like the, the birds right. won't fuck with it. Then you know, kind of like if you're walking around with a hot dog, a bird. A, you know, most of the time a bird's not gonna swoop down and try to take it out of your hands. Although there are birds that would do that. So you're right. Ooh. You should see some fucking birds pecking away at these fucking decomposed fucks, you know? Like, do you see yeah, one of those fat motherfucking seagulls that do that? They just yank shit out of your fucking Oh, yeah, head? I've seen that, yeah. Yeah. Pick up a we baby. A oh, just kill that yet. damn bird. <laughs> Alka-Seltzer works, works wonders. Yeah, you watch the fucking seagull pop like a goddamn fucking grenade. <laughs> <laughs> That's just cruel. That's just a cruel, but fuck them. Ah, come on, that's horrible. And I don't know if the person in the chat was talking about us. Somebody said, stop cussing. When you tell me to stop cursing, you know what I do? I continue to fucking curse. <laughs> stop cursing. They're coming to the Foul Mouths Network, and they're saying, stop cursing. Now, oh, I don't dear know God. If, I don't know if they were talking about somebody in the chat or us, but if they're talking about us... Hey, listen, saying, listen. Even if they are talking about somebody in the yeah. chat, what do you expect when you come to a place called the Foul Mouths Network? Right. Like, of course, the chat's going to have a little animation to it. I mean, we're alive here. You know, the chat's alive, full of live people. You know what I mean? So, like, you're going to hear some adult words being thrown out there. You know, God forbid adults speak like adults for a little I bit. I know, right? You know? Um, Maybe I should just clean it up a bit and say, just inhale my cock meat. Oh, my God. Let's keep it walking dead, okay? Let's keep it fucking dead talk tonight, okay? Um, <laughs> Cole, you got anything to say before I let you go? Anything anything tell less? The, is it? Huh? Tell all the kids. That are complaining about cursing. It's past your bedtime. <laughs> it's ten yeah. o'clock. Have you seen your kids cursing lately? All right, man. I'll talk to you soon, brother. Thanks for calling in, dude. Later. Later, man. Later. It's ten o'clock. Have you checked and seen if your kids are cursing? No, I haven't. Um. Well, another thing that was good about the episode was the whole thing with um. Carol, like you could see that Carol has slowly become um, Ezekiel's like right hand man, so to speak. Yeah. Like she really just like are those two in love? What's going on with that? I'm starting to think that. Yeah, like what is going on with those two? Are they are they gonna be like hooked up? And what's gonna happen next week when they fucking jump off this guy's body? Because you saw that it was a wave of bullets came in and just hit like three or four people as they covered him up when they were falling to the ground, like. He definitely, I mean, he was going to get shot. There's no doubt about it. And was, and that was those guys with that, like, Gatlin gun? I don't know where the hell. Yeah, that, that was the 50 the cow. That, that was the 50 cow that they were just done talking about. And that's where the guy said, oh, it, was, it got called up to another area. Right. Like, right. yeah, that's fucked up, man. And that's Negan's people, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right, so. right before, if I was the guy in the tower, right before I just started shooting people, I would have just yelled this. <laughs> that sounds like one of our callers, the Mr. Mr. Yeah. Fart Man. What's his name? The Mr. Fart Guy, right? Billy Crystal Meth. He oh, got, yeah, Billy Crystal Meth. He got this guy, caller calls in last night on our show. And uh, I don't know, Bobby, did you hear that one? I did, I did. This guy takes a bullet to the chest. Right underneath his heart, one year ago on Halloween, guys. Like, tell me that's not some spooky shit right there. A lot of people didn't believe this guy. He's calling, you know, he spoke to us for a while. A lot of people in the chat were like calling bullshit on it. 
which I understand. I mean, it's a hard, hard story to fucking uh, believe, you know. But long story short, I did some research, and from what I can tell, that story is is pretty friggin' real, man. It's pretty real, and, and this guy took a bullet right underneath the heart. After a year before that, he he had a triple bypass surgery to his heart. So a year later, he takes a bullet underneath the heart. I mean, it's horrible. It's a horrible story. You know what that I mean? That dude has the most shittiest luck in, in existence. Yeah, that was pretty uh, pretty horrible, man. Like God Almighty. Um, but yeah, it was a pretty uh, you know unbelievable story. But you know, um, things are things can happen, man. Stranger things have happened. You know. Shout out to Stranger yeah. Things. That's another good show that... Uh, I still need to watch that, damn it. Oh, my God. What a show that is, man. I mean, like, you know, like, if you if you get sick of, like, repetition type shit, you might not like some of the show because it does, like, kind of pound the 80s into you, like you said, Filthy. Yeah. Um. But besides that, like, you know, it's a, it's a damn good show, man. I mean, it's like, you know, it's if you are a fan of 80s and retro stuff and shit like that, You'll love it. Like, you'll absolutely love it, you know, if you're a fan of that type of shit. There's no doubt about it. Um, what? Oh, my God, man. Don't ever have kids people out there, please. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. He can't run with the <laughs> <laughs> Christ Almighty! It's a blind with sand. How many kids see with a cat? Surprisingly, it's always about a charger with these kids nowadays. You ever notice that? Nowadays, it's always about a charger. Whole we never life had to worry about chargers. Whole though. life's around chargers. I'm like in my day, I used to throw a Duracell battery at my father's forehead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this walker. One walker's the like... top. Yeah, exactly. One walker's like this. I gotta get the fuck out of here. The other walker's like, I just want to hump you in the butt. <laughs> I just want to hump you. The other guy's like... What the gay zombie's doing now? Yeah, look. The other guy's like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. This guy's trying to fuck me in the ass. And the other guy's like, I just want to hump your asshole. Oh, God, I just want to hump your asshole. No, this fucking guy's trying to fuck me. Oh, Christ, no. <laughs> Sorry. But anyway, back to the whole Jesus thing. Like, he proposed the idea of locking the saviors up in a trailer and putting security around it. Dumbest what thing I ever heard. Dumbest fucking thing I ever heard. This guy, Jesus, should be fucking... Put on a cross. No, I'm just kidding. What um, the fuck is that, is that gonna do? You gotta feed them now. Yeah, now you gotta feed them. Not only that, not only that, you gotta not only feed these assholes and keep them alive, but you gotta let them out after a certain amount of time. Back out into the public to fuck you. It's stupid. It's stupid what's being done. Really, it's dumb. I understand, you you know, the whole God side of it and blah, blah, blah. I get that. But, like, honestly, you're setting yourself up to be killed. And Maggie should know better. Because and Maggie how many did times it. You're right, maggot. You fucking Maggie maggot. How, how, did you how let... many times did they let somebody go? Not only that, she let that asshole in. Right. Oh, yeah. that's another yeah. Yeah, and you're right. How many times has she let people go? Has those people let people go that came back to fuck them? How many yeah. times? It's happened so many times in, in this show. So many times. It's like, have you not learned yet? Have you not learned from what you what you, you know? I just oh, it pissed me off when she said. You know, with that guy, let him in. And then he's in there fucking saying how those people should be killed, r- yeah. like, right away. It's, it's such bullshit. I, I know. It's just fucking so frustrating. It's and very... freaking dude was, was in the first episode sucking Negan's cock. Like, yeah. <laughs> I know. I know, man. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. And then he have it when he goes, he goes, I'm not ready to die. I know. Like, oh, God. Why don't you go to a few more acting classes? Such a piece of shit, show. that guy. Not only that, that guy jumped in the car and left all the other people there to fucking right. die. You know, like, this guy's a scumbag. What the fuck, man? Are you letting this guy in for? It's like now, we, and when will we go, you know what? I fucking hope you all die now. You keep letting these assholes into place. They they did well, it in the jail. Remember they took like 14,000 heads in the jail when they were running yep. the jail? Like, it's just they keep doing it. 
the fuck well, are you doing? The same mistake. Daryl's in the right mindset. Well, I tell you, Daryl comes back there. If he's in any other mindset, you better watch the fuck out. Daryl start popping people's fucking faces over there with a gun. Like, and that's it. Like, Daryl will literally wipe out all those people if they don't watch out. Because him and and um, Rick's friend, the black dude, they are like oh, okay. stone cold killers, man, these guys. Stone cold killers. Um, and I've never seen that guy that fucking... That dude was fighting the guy Jesus, like, and you could tell he's just lost his whole mind, and he's just ready to attack and just kill anything that gets in his way. And you Jesus know? is all of a sudden a martial arts expert? I guess so. I mean, that's why I was saying, like, before I was saying, that was very, uh, very impressive what he was doing. And did you notice that the fight it looked like something from Mortal Kombat? Right. Yeah, it did. And the guy Jesus looked like he belongs in Mortal Kombat. Yeah. You know, he was fighting him so easily, kicking away the stick and, you know. Jesus. Uh, what's his name? Wins. Only got a couple of shots in there here and there, you know? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. So it was like he really only got a couple of shots in there. That guy was kicking his ass, dude, the guy Jesus, you know? And kicking then Jesus ass. beat him and then he did a friendship. Friendship. Friendship, Jesus. Again. Hang him on the cross. Friendship. Friendship, Jesus. Jesus, friendship, babyality. <laughs> Jesus, friendship, babyality. Remember the babyalities? Yeah. <laughs> babyality. Uh, speaking of Jesus, he, uh, he's on the Talking Dead at the moment. Oh, is he right uh, now, Jesus? Oh, God, yeah. and all the girls in the Ladies crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank Jesus for coming on the show tonight. Jesus, how are you? Straight from heaven. Thank you, thank you so much. It's great to be here, and... Uh... I'm Jesus. That's right. We don't kill nobody. We just put him in crates. <laughs> Fuck out of here. You know? All those, if I'm in that fucking... If I'm in that world and I'm in that, you know, that scenario, they're all dead. Goodbye. Well, in that scenario, but also went through all the shit they went through. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and you learn your lesson after a while and you say to yourself, you know what? We can't keep these people alive. I know it's the wrong thing to do. But it's got to be done because we cannot take care of these people. We can't do it. You know, you just can't do it. You know, they're just going to come back to yeah. bite you in the ass because there's always somebody within that group that's going to come back to bite you in the ass. You can almost guarantee it. And not only is that, but when, but when Negan gets to the hilltop, he's, he's going to let them all, all free anyway. Yep. So what's going to happen with that when that happens now? You know what I mean? Like... It just it just makes no sense to me. I don't know. And Maggie should be, she might be the next one to get killed now. I that think they're, I think they're gonna op they're gonna open that trailer a couple episodes from now, and you're gonna see Negan and the priest sixty nine in each other. <laughs> Come on, man! <laughs> fucking just gross, dude. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. They're worried about us cursing, and you fucking go and say that, dude. Like, holy shit. <laughs> Who's in about KY oh, well. Jelly? Fuck a man. It's a fucking wrong. <laughs> Holy shit. For four episodes. Yo, yo, yo. Gagging yo, on each other. Bob it. <laughs> brought to you by KY Jelly. This, <laughs> this episode was what brought you to you by. In an yeah. This episode was brought to you by KY Jelly. <laughs> <laughs> that is so disgusting. <laughs> oh, Christ, man. <laughs> Well, anyway, I mean, listen, it was another ap ap action-packed episode. Like, you know, if you're into, like, guns a-blaring and all that, you know, shit. Uh, which I which fooled me because last week I said that it would probably be an episode where it was a lot of talking involved. You would probably wouldn't see a lot of action, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I thought it would be one of those episodes where they get a lot done as far as storyline. You know what I mean? Like, um, talking storyline, not like action storyline. But it wasn't. I mean, so it looks like this, this, this whole, this whole uh, season so far. What are we three episodes in? Yeah. It looks yeah, like this one. season is gonna is really shaping up to be like one of the more action packed seasons. I would say. Do you agree with me so far? Like this, this season's been packed with a lot of action early on. Oh yeah. You know, like a lot early on. Yeah. See, no. I, I've got a feeling since if we're getting all action now. When the mid-season finale hits, that's when it's going to start to slow down. Yeah, yeah, like the mid, like the midway point. Um, 
like that mid-season shit, you know what I mean? When they stop midway, yeah. that's like when you, you'll probably see it like definitely slow up a, a bit, you know? But right now, I mean, you want action. If you're an action person, you got it. Uh, there's been a lot of action these last three episodes, especially the last two. So, but I can't wait to see what's going to happen with Ezekiel next week. Is is he, you know, he's obviously, he didn't get shot in that pile. But they're all going to be people dead, I guess, now. And they're kind of ambushed. So you got, you're got you going to have that whole fucking deal going down next week. Well, these guys, again, they're walking they're walking in a field, like, towards a fucking building that has obvious high windows in it. Yeah, I know. It was like, like what a are total you doing? fucking setup and that they didn't see at all coming at and all. And meanwhile, they're talking shit before. We're good planners. We got a great plan. Yeah, great plan. I know. <laughs> yeah, well, it kind of, like, shows you, like, how stupid they fucking really are, though, you know? And that kind of showed the hand. It's like, all right, they're talking shit. That means they're going to get fucked. Yeah, now. exactly. Yeah. You kind of figured that, you know? It's like, do you ever watch a reality show? Well, let's say it's like a cooking reality show. And the guy goes, oh, we're cooking fucking steak. Oh, this is right in my wheelhouse. You know right there after he says that, he's going to lose. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, it's like they yeah. show their hand. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's usually how it goes down. So, I mean, but we got a good episode to look forward to to next week. I mean, next week should be pretty good. Um, a lot of shit going on. How many episodes this this year? Do you, any of you guys know? It's probably going to be eight and eight. Eight, then it's been the mid-season finale, then eight again. It's usually 16. Yeah. It usually is, right? Yeah. 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 And what do they stop? Right around January, right? No, December, actually. Yeah, right. Oh, December. Okay. So, yeah, oh, they, they don't get it. Oh, January yeah, you know. February. Yeah. Okay. So you don't get it for Christmas, right? No. Right. Well, that's all right. I mean, you know, they take those hiatus. It's, what are you gonna do, dude? Christmas, yeah. I'm gonna be balls deep in a turducken. Turducken. <laughs> that's fucking funny, dude. That is great. Well, anyway, um, that was uh, episode three of season eight. And uh, thanks to everybody who joined us. Mr. Kalel, thanks for the donation, brother. Shout out to everybody out there. Shell, D-Moon, Schleppy, uh, Mr. Face Paint, um, our boy um, Billy Crystal Crackhead. Um, you know, everybody. Shout out to all you guys. Um, you guys got anything to say before we bounce on this episode? Shout out to Shots Fired fucking Christian. Shots Fired Christian. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bobby, what about you? <laughs> Just, uh, just enjoy your week, and we'll and we'll see you next Sunday. Yeah, go check out Mr. Foul Mouth Bobbit over there at the at the Swamp Ass Podcast. Go show him some love. Hit him off with a sub if you can. We really appreciate it. He's a good guy. Uh, he's got some good episodes over there. Um, on behalf of everybody else, we will see you same time, same place next week, directly following uh, the episode. And um, you know, listen, there was one good thing about tonight, man. Um, there was it was rumored that that drag the um, dragon. I keep thinking of fucking Game <laughs> I keep of thinking Thrones. Of, yeah, I keep thinking of Game of Thrones. But there was there was a rumor that that fucking lion was gonna die, man. You know the tiger. I'm sorry, the tiger was gonna die, and I'm I'm kind of happy that that didn't happen. You know what I mean? Because it's like they were saying it to CGI and all that shit. It's like, oh, so you're gonna just kill the fucking thing off of that? You know, it was kind of weird, but. I get, but they said that it's in the they said that it's in the in the comic book, right? It is. Didn't you say that, Bobby? Oh no. Uh, well, well, I Sean think it was you Christian said it. did, but uh, but yeah, it is in the comic though. It is right. Yeah. So I mean, so we're gonna see that no matter what. But that that's pretty cheesy, you know. And does it come back as a as a walking fucking animal or what? Like, what's the deal? Do you know about that? I think it just well in the comic. I think I think it just dies, but in the show, I think it's gonna come back as a zombie tiger. Dude, that would be. I mean, that would be along the lines of some, you know, um, Game of Thrones type shit there. But still, it, that would be pretty cool to see a fucking zombie tiger. Like, well, you know, like it's it's not far fetched to have zombie animals. Cause if you remember in the prison, the that they had zombie dogs. Yeah, you're right about that. I forgot all about that. Yeah, you're right. Well, I mean, we could see it, man. Who knows? Anyway, I mean, both of these shows that I love for so long, you know, Talking Dead and Game of Thrones, both had zombies in them, you know? So why couldn't they both have fucking zombified animals? 
right? Exactly. Exactly. So anyway, we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for coming and hanging with us. Like I said, you can go check him out, Mr. Foul Mouth Bobbitt on Swamp Ass Podcast. You can go check out the Filthy Mouth Gaming here on the Foul Mouths Network, and he's going to be having a um, show come out pretty soon on here, The um, which you haven't seen for a while. It's um, Deep, Thoughts Deep Thoughts with the Filthy Mouth Gamer. Check that out. It's going to be out pretty soon on Patreon, and then it'll come to the Foul Mouths Network on YouTube uh, sometime after that. If you're not a Patreon member, go over and check out our Patreon and go see some of the videos over there. I, I guarantee you'll like it. We've been doing really good on Patreon lately. The the people over there are loving it, our family members. Um, big shout out to all of them and all the new Patreons as of late. Shout out to you guys. And when you come to the Foul Mouths Network, you're going to hear cursing. So just a little warning for everybody out there, okay? All right, anyway, we'll see you guys same time, same place next week. Peace out, everybody. Shout out to everybody out there, Mr. Billy Ricky. Mr. Uh, Joe Cronin, Justin Bailey. Shout out to all my boys out there. Uh, Mr. Lucky Low, everybody. We'll see you guys soon. Peace out, everyone. That was Dead Talk on the Foul Mouth Network with Foul Mouth Bobbin, the Filthy Mouth Gamer, and Foul Mouth Ken. Be here next week for episode three. I'll put a Kentucky in your asshole.